Hey, what's going on everybody? Hope you can hear me okay. Uh, long time since my last video, uh, so I thought I'd do my usual one video every six months. Um, and yeah, don't really have a plan of what to talk about. I'm just going to kind of go off what's going on right now in our world. I hope this reaches everybody out there like in excellent condition or if you're not in excellent condition it's just awesome that we're alive and we're still chugging on with this crazy existence um i guess what i wanted to talk about most of all is right now is how nobody knows what's going on in the world so don't ever let anybody tell you what's going on you see humans are we're we're interesting um, confidence is also very linked to this topic so you know when you feel like you have a clear understanding of your purpose your goals what's right what's wrong um, this can have like a really um, fulfilling feeling like you can just you you'll, you can draw a lot of confidence from feeling that from knowing what you're doing, knowing who you are, knowing what you want, knowing what you don't want, knowing what's right, what's wrong. But you know, people in general, we really crave someone else telling us what's going on. That's why we watch the news. That's why we watch commentary. That's why, you know, we, we go on YouTube and we're like, what just happened? You know, what's going on? Like, I just met this person and they did this like what does that mean or what what does it mean if like someone at work is doing this or so like we and that and that's totally okay that's a good thing like we like to you know get perspective from different people and different um sources and places that helps us to sort of like figure out our own perspective and our own opinion so there's nothing wrong with that, but at the end of the day, the most important opinion, the most important perspective is yours. And it's important to have some confidence in your own perspective, in your own opinion, because let me tell you, nobody knows what's going on. We're all just in the same boat. We're all just creating this as we go along. We're all just establishing our own rules. You know, and right now we're in like a crazy moment in, in existence where the way that I look at it is like we're evolving as a species and we're kind of leveling up. And that's why there's a lot of confusion and a lot of, you know, like um, uncertainty. People don't know how to behave, what to say, what to do, how to speak, what's right, what's wrong, what's politically correct, what's not politically correct, what's insulting. I mean, from my experience, I live here in uh, Orange County, south of LA. Um, the people that I like encounter most of the time don't seem to really care at all about other people <laughs> too much. It, which in a way it's kind of like I think that's it's kind of cool that they're focused on themselves and they're not allowing but at the same time it's not cool because we need that balance we need to be empathetic we need to be respectful of our surroundings of our environment of the people around us you know we don't want to be overly respectful at, at a detriment to ourselves but we also don't want to be overly self-centered and self-focused at a detriment to our neighbors and our community. So, so yeah, I, I think um, it's really important at the end of the day to formulate your own perspective, your own belief system, you know, and enrich it with all the incredible perspectives that are already out there, you know, whether it's from books, music. Music is one of my favorite ones, you know, because music um, it's not based on race political ideology sex you, you know music is a very unique thing it's like a very unifying thing it brings people together you know sports can also do that sort of a thing 
but like music is like a good source that I would recommend you know like following great musicians musicians that transcended all, all the basic um, things that we're constantly uh, bombarded with every day like politics like you know st stuff like that so there's also a lot of spiritual gurus out there I remember like I went through a, a hardcore phase of like following a lot of the the gurus out there like oh show I was interested in I mean he wound up being a really interesting crazy person but um, Eckhart Tolle is one there's so many great spiritual teachers out there and then that we can formulate our own unique perspective and our own unique um, belief system now having your own perspective and belief system where you are strong in what you believe is right and what's wrong is so like helpful it can you know f fill you with confidence as I said earlier and you can continue to strengthen your perspective and belief system by practicing it by constantly coming back to what you believe is right and wrong another good one is prayer you know unfortunately there's a lot wrong with religion you know um, the the root and core of religion is always I always believe has been great whether it's Islam Christianity Judaism Buddhism you know the root of these faiths come from people that were able to transcend whether it's uh, Jesus you know Muslims they believe in Jesus Muslims they follow um, Christ um, Christians follow Christ Jew Jews they follow in Abraham and they and other things but Buddhism they follow you know um, the Buddha and uh, at the end of the day like these people that they are that were teachers Muhammad Christ Buddha you know uh, modern day we have people now as well like Eckhart Tolle you know they're just messengers right trying to help guide us uh, to live better you know the the root and core of all those people the message has always been about love patience good things right kindness honesty integrity you know don't steal don't kill don't lie so you know those are also elements that we can draw from to um, construct our personal unique belief system but yeah I guess the, the main message here and I, and I know I always say I want to do a short video but this time this is going to be a short video for real because I have to leave in five minutes and I wanted to do a quick video just to you know put something out there and say hi and I'm gonna I know I keep saying that I'm gonna make more videos and I don't but I'm gonna do it I'm I'm determined I've just been so busy paying bills as I'm sure everyone else out there is but don't let anyone else kind of tell you what's what you know if people say oh the dating world it's like this or you know it's what it's we call it gaslighting now people gaslighting you going oh my god you're acting so crazy like why why are you acting like that people don't act like that don't ever buy into that bullshit don't ever let anyone tell you what people act like because nobody knows what's going on we're all figuring this out as we go along and as I said we are all drawing from our own perspectives uh, sorry from other people's perspectives whether it's books writings music lectures music what, whatever it is sports you know I get influenced tremendously by martial artists by watching fighters because fighters have a very difficult task I've been fortunate and blessed to have experienced it experienced weight cutting experienced the crazy nerves and anxiety before you go into a cage and you have to fight someone who's trained to fight you and it is probably one of the most difficult things I think on planet earth to do so I draw a lot of uh, influence and education from fighters and if you follow these fighters the vast majority of them are humble kind people because they've been through a lot of hardship and they've learned like what is important and if you if you meet and talk to great fighters or if you just watch their interviews on YouTube they are some of the most 
confident people because they have their belief system. They don't care. Oh crap, did I? Okay, it's still going. My screensaver just came up, so I don't know if it stopped recording, but I think it's still going, so I'm gonna keep going. Um, yeah, so fighters are very confident because they have their own self, self uh, belief system, they have their perspective, they do not listen to outside noise too much, they craft their own belief system and they move forward with confidence in that. And they draw from all those things, those sources I mentioned, religion it could be, it could be spiritual teachers, books, there's a wide array, your own family, your parents, your grand father, your grandmother, your mom, your dad, your brothers, your sisters, if, you have a, if you're blessed to have a great friend, YouTube channels, is a lot of different sources. But what I do see when I go out in the world is we are all craving someone to tell us what we should feel or what we should think. And I guess the, the, the root of this uh, message, of this video is, don't let anyone tell you what to think or how to think or what to feel. Go and craft that for yourself. Even if you're gonna have a lot of anxiety, a lot of sadness and depression and uncertainty al along the way, be patient because things don't happen overnight. Things take time. You know, this is one of the reasons why people freak out a lot when they're going through, to, through breakups. I, I talk to people who are going through breakups all the time. And it's not just breakups, it's if you feel depressed, if you feel anxiety. The reason why anxiety, depression, breakups, divorce, traumatic events, losing your job, whatever it is, the reason why those things have like a... Um, like a more devastating impact than they should upon us is because you may not realize it but when those incidents happen and occur this unconscious thought starts happening in the background with most of us which is this is how I'm going to feel forever this is how my life is going to be from now on I'm going to be depressed forever now I'm going to be anxious forever this what I'm feeling now is how I'm going to feel forever you know, this is why, sadly, a lot of people, they, they um, you know, there's, I don't, you know, it's a delicate topic, but there's suicide because of this, because people, they feel like, oh, this is how I'm going to feel forever. You know, it's not the case. You're going to feel differently in a day. You're going to feel differently in a few hours. You're going to feel differently. We're never the same person twice. We're always growing. We're always evolving. So don't let anybody ever tell you, what is what, like what, how you should think, what's right, what's wrong, what's politically correct, especially like this happens on both sides. This happens on the extreme far left, you know, the, the people who they think they're so like, um, let's say woke, you know, which I think it's a good thing to be awakened. It's a good thing to be considerate of people. It's a good thing to value freedom and respect, respect our transsexual brothers and sisters, respect our Jewish brothers and sisters, respect our Muslim brothers and sisters, respect our Christian brothers and sisters, respecting everybody. That's how I was raised. I, I, I was raised in the 90s. I was into heavy metal, alternative music, punk, hardcore, electronic. I, I grew up in a time when, you know, there was some of the great, greatest hip hop ever made coming out, greatest punk music, metal, rock, all kinds of awesome music. And the core of those, the core of alternative music was about tolerance and patience and love and acceptance. You know, when I would go to like metal clubs or, or alternative uh, clubs or gigs or shows or whatever, you know, there were gay people, lesbian, there were transsexuals, there were, you know, black, white, Asian, a lot of outcasted people who were outcast by society and they couldn't fit in anywhere. And, you know, so, so that woke movement or whatever you want to call it, like, it's just, I just call it cool people, you know, chill, cool people. That's a good thing. But then there's like extremes of that where they're kind of, they're a bit lost. They're kind of doing it for the wrong reasons and then they don't realize it, but they're becoming intolerant 
to a whole bunch of people thinking that they are tolerant. Then they wound up like being intolerant to, let's say, more conservative people, which you shouldn't. We should be understanding of conservative people. Yes, it is difficult to accept, um, you know, if so someone in your family could be transsexual or gay or lesbian. It's, we've got to be empathetic to each other. We've got to understand that some people might find that difficult to understand. Some people might be afraid of it. Is that bad? No, it's not bad. You know, it's, it's natural. We just need to communicate with each other, educate each other with kindness, with love. You know, not suddenly saying, oh, you're a villain because you're against transsexuals, or you're a villain be be because you're against gay people, or you're a villain because you're against Jews or Muslims or Christians. So we need to be more tolerant. We need to make an effort to educate and communicate with each other and, and um, understand each other, right? Because we all have certain fears ourselves. It's not just the extreme, let's say, conservatives. It's not the, I'm, I'm looking at my arm over here. You see, I've been making these videos now for like, what? Since 2014? It's been a while, almost like 10 years. And you know, the reason why I started doing the videos is because I wanted to kind of also see myself and how I'm aging and <laughs> am I staying in shape? And if I do this, is this thing like dangling around too much? That means I got to do my tricep workouts. Anyway, aging is beautiful. We've got to embrace it. It's a part of life. If you run away from aging, and here I go on another tangent, but if you go on, if you go, if you run away from aging, you're going to deprive yourself of a lot of things that we're supposed to go through, which like more mental wisdom, maturity. So don't deprive yourself of aging. Aging is a important part of life. Of course, we've got to take great care of ourselves and be healthy and eat well and exercise and look after our minds. But, you know, there are some people in this world, I'm not going to mention names, who are running away from aging and they want to be young even when they're 60 and 70 and they want to be shredded and they want to, you know, uh, just look like they're 25. Well, we can't be 25 forever and, and I wouldn't want to be 25 forever because aging is a beautiful thing. You grow, you become wiser. You start to give a shit less, you know, which is cool, you know, so. All right, everybody, God bless all of you. God protect the people of um, Palestine. God save them. God protect and save all the good Jewish people out there who I'm sure are also having such a difficult time with all of this. There's so many good Jewish people all around the world. I have uh, good Jewish friends, family, um, and you know, they're living all around the world peacefully. You know, they're here in America, they're all across Europe, and they're just like, oh my God, what's going on? You know, Israel is something different. I don't want to get into that. I would love to get into that topic, but I think we all kind of know what's going on over there. You know, it's uh, very difficult to bury the truth. And that's, that's what's going on right now is the truth is being heavily exposed. And if you're interested to know more about my thoughts on that, you can follow my Instagram where I do post regularly about it. Some of you have managed to find my Instagram page. Um, but, you know, we're all, we're all wonderful human beings. You know, Jewish people are wonderful human beings. They're, they brought so much to the world in terms of especially arts and creativity and, uh, you know, just culture. And same with Muslims. I, I would say that, you know, like these um, Zionists, you know, and uh, if you're interested, you can go educate yourselves on what a Zionist is and what the whole Israel thing is about. But they are using the, the, they're abusing the great faith of Judaism to, uh, as a um, tool to help advance their ulterior motives. Um, but it should not be at the cost of the beautiful Palestinian people who are, they are God sent people. They are Jesus descendant people. They are, that, that part of the world is ancient and uh, you know, it's very similar to California. It's actually more beautiful than California. It's the Mediterranean. And it's unbelievable for farming, for, it's just lush. It's like ideal um, environment for life. 
And if you ask me, again, I'll save it for another video, but, or maybe I'll do like one of the live YouTube thingies and maybe three people will join, but that's good enough for me. We can have a three person menage a trois conversation. <laughs> so, oh crap, my screensaver came on again. Um, but if you ask me, that's what I think the, the root of it all is. It's, a, it's one of the most beautiful, um, resource-rich part of the world. Perfect, beautiful weather, beautiful like conditions for farming. The Romans were there, the Greeks were there. You know, Palestinian people are ethnically so diverse because they were in the Mediterranean with trading with the Europeans, with the Romans, and the Roman Empire was there, the Greek Empire was there, the Persian Empire, the Ottoman Empire. So Palestinian people are just so just beautiful, incredible people, you know, um, Lebanese people also, Lebanon, Palestine, Palestine all, all the Middle East, you know. So, and uh, again, I'm sorry to keep uh, bringing this up. As I said, we already, all of us out there know, but there were already Jewish people living in Palestine for thousands of years, very peacefully. And uh, but what's been going on since like the, the 40s, um, it's not, nothing to do with religion, it's about power, it's about territory, it's about resources, and th it's been completely exposed now. The whole world can see the truth, I don't need to talk about it, it's all out there. And I'm just going to focus on talking about how we all as human beings can navigate through this crazy world a little bit better perhaps, and um, I'm sending you all out there all the very best. Um, with whatever it is you're dealing with, let me know like if there are things that you would like me to talk more about. Otherwise, I'll just continue to ramble on. All right, so I'll talk to you all later, and I'll um, yeah, talk to you all soon. Bye.